That LZ0 engine is on its way. We know that for model year 2023, and we still don't have any hard information from General Motors. But what we do have is a bunch of speculation, and I've uncovered a little bit more information on what possibly could be coming out. And let's just go over the current speculation. So we have a potential horsepower slash torque increase based off of the new transmission. If there's no new transmission, we've proved that already. These transmissions that are available in this 2023 model year are the exact same we've had for the past couple years with this LM2. So the horsepower and torque increase, that's always a possibility. With a new engine update, we always hope that there's an increase in that. Uh, then there's some Looney Tune out there saying that there's a possibility of cylinder deactivation. I mean, that's just crazy sauce. But let me tell you, it's still a possibility because what I've uncovered with epa.gov, it's a website of the EPA. I mean, it's an official website. And then I've also got federalregister.gov right here. We have some very, very strict emission standards coming out for model year 2023. And this was squeaked in. I mean, I, I've been trying to do some research on basically everything about this LZ0. GM is not releasing information on it. But based on this, we can see where GM has to go with this. So I'm just going to read a little bit here. But again, this comes from federalregister.gov. Link down below. EPA.gov has your information too down below. It is a huge, huge hole. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to take in on this. But let me tell you right here, just, uh, I mean, revised 2023 and later model year light duty vehicle greenhouse gas emission standards. And this is uh, 1230 of 2021. However, it goes into effect on February 28th of 2022, which just passed. Um, and then after that passed was when we had the LZ0 show up on the ordering guide. Guys, we're getting some strict emissions here. So if you have an LM2 and you're like, oh no, I should have gotten that new engine. I should have waited. No, I think the LM2 is the one to have based off of this. This is ridiculous. I'm going to read some of this stuff here and I'll tell you, it's, it's super concerning. So there's just to give like a brief little overview that I'm going to get to in a little bit, but there's going to be a huge 10% increase in emission standards from 2022 to 2023. But we're going to get into that in just a bit. So right here, summary, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, is revising the greenhouse gas emission standards under the Clean Air Act Section 202A for light duty vehicles for 2023 and later model years to make the standards more stringent. That's fantastic, right? Oh yeah, that's great. Thanks guys, that's gonna be cool. What we have is the EPA is revising the greenhouse gas standards to be more stringent than the safe rule standards in each model year from 23 through 2026. Um, 23 to 26, that's a very small span. So they're just ramping this up. So this final rule is effective on February 28th, 2022. The incorporation by reference of certain publications listed in this regulation is approved by the director of the Federal Register as of February 28th, 2022. This final rule accelerates the rate of stringency increases of the model year 23 to 26 safe standards from a roughly 1.5% year over year rate of stringency increase to a nearly 10% stringency increase from model year 2022 to 2023 followed by a 5% stringency increase in model year 24 as proposed. In model year 25, the stringency of the final standards increases by 6.6%, .6%, culminating with a 10% stringency increase in model year 2026. This is ridiculous. Like this is, this is crazy. So we're going to be ramped up heavy on emissions and this new engine that's coming out, this LZ0, it's going to be emissions based. I mean, we're looking back at the times of, if you remember 2007 when we had the LBZ and then it had to go into the LMM, that was a, a big increase. That was the first year of the DPF in 08, 07 and a half roughly. So it's, yeah, it's, it's happening right here. So the 2022 LM2 is going to be the last of the good essentially is my fear on this. So I'm going to continue going through this and seeing what else I dig up, but I've already basically described the, the bulk of the bad news here. And there's no right or wrong on this one right now. I mean, this shows model year 23, we're having some significant increases. So this new LZ0, again, this is speculation, but I feel like I have some more hard information here based off of, I mean, it came from the EPA.gov. 
So if you want to go ahead and read it for yourself, again, the links are down below. Check it out and see what you have to find on there. Let me know down below. Um, if you notice, if you go into my older video with that, where I talk about the cylinder deactivation on there, that article talks about a 5% reduction in CO2. And that's what they're after here on this is reducing CO2 and NOx. NOx helps with death. I mean, we've got the, the whole emission system in that exhaust. We've got 75,000 pounds of emissions hooked to this truck. So just expect more. I mean, model your 2023. That's going to be the one. So go out and get your 2022 refresh right now. Get that and uh, enjoy the crap out of that LM2 because I absolutely love my LM2. My new 2022 refresh should be here within the next two weeks. So I will gladly share anything and everything that I learned with that truck. And as LZ0 information comes out, I will report it. There is a sales uh, little conference thing that's happening. And uh, I believe it's next week. And I'm gonna try to tune into that, even though I'm not into GM sales, but we're gonna, we're gonna check that out and see. But they're gonna talk about the four cylinder as well as the 3.0 Duramax. They did not specify which Duramax they're gonna talk about. So at least I should have something from that maybe. Um, GM will release stuff here and there, and I'm keeping my eye out on this LZ0. It's going to be very interesting um, which way we go. Hopefully it is more power. Hopefully I'm wrong on all this emission stuff. But this says right here, the EPA is cracking down. They're getting more stringent. They love that word stringent. And um, yeah, it's coming. So expect more of this uh, good stuff to come.